evening. Hi, we're here tonight on Thursday, November 11th at the Henry's Bistro on 105th Street and Broadway to celebrate sort of our grand opening event and fundraiser for the Metro Theater Project, um, which is just five short blocks away on 100th Street and Broadway. And why is the Metro Theater important? It's a beautiful old theater that's been landmarked. The front, the facade has been landmarked. Unfortunately, it's been closed for many years. It, it's been around the neighborhood for a long time, and it closed maybe six or seven years ago. They tried to renovate it, reopen it into a, it had been a single movie theater. They tried to make it into a duplex type of movie theater. Wasn't able to make it, and it closed down, and it hasn't been open in years. And really, this neighborhood is starved for some sort of theater, some sort of entertainment. And the Metro Theater Project hopes to reopen that theater and revitalize it and make it into a performing arts center where we can have poetry readings, we can have workshops for theater companies, for theater companies that necessarily that can't necessarily afford to go to Broadway. This will be our own little piece of Broadway. Dance companies, concerts, musical concerts, just about any kind of art form that one could think of. And we also hope to bring education into it as well and bring some students from some of the public schools and maybe they can use some of our space for the same purposes. Okay, so we're here with Dodge uh, Landersman and he's the youngest uh, uh, s person who ran for a city council at the age of 18 and he's also a uh, member of a community board. Uh, why is this um, project important to you? Uh, this is a very important project. Uh, first off, I know Michael Leva very well. And he's been very committed, and this is right in his neighborhood, and he's really realized that this theater needs to be saved. We need to preserve so many institutions within the city, and the Metro Theater Project is really exemplary of the institutions that we need to save. Um, you know, it's been there for over 100 years. It has real history to it, and to really let it go really kind of abolishes the character of the neighborhood. Um, I also made a site visit. I represented the National Endowment of the Arts, which my father, uh, Rocco Lansman, is the chair of. Uh, so I represent the NEA. The site visit went very well. It's a beautiful space. So much can be done. So much can be, can be utilized uh, within that space, whether it be small performances, whether it be uh, musicians playing, whatever it might may be. I'm really excited because there is so much potential for this to be a real community theater and that's what the National Endowment of the Arts is all about. So I've really uh, tried to campaign for that and I think there's a good shot of, of them getting funding and I'm happy to help out in this cause, which I think is essential. So we're talking live here with Michael Oliva, who is the Executive Director of Metro Theater Project. So Mike, why is this project important to you? Well, I think it's important because, you know, there's uh, this beautiful landmark structure in, on Broadway and it's not being utilized, it's just sitting there. Um, and you know, there's, you have Douglas houses on the same block, which is one of the large, largest housing projects in, in the city. And the people, the kids, the school is right on that corner too, so they can have an outlet for the arts. And then you can have folks sort of from the other side of Broadway, um, and you can have artists who are up and coming, you could have artists who are established, and then you can build a symbiotic relationship between the community and, and artists. And I think that uh, there's a lack of um, theatrical outlet in this neighborhood when you go north of 96th Street, and I think it's something that people would be receptive to, and it can serve a, a, diver a diverse array of constituencies. So, um, what's the plan for the future? What's the plan? Well, the plan is we want to keep doing events like this. We want to keep raising money. We want to keep generating energy. And we want it to get to the point where it's like, this is our theater. And uh, however we're going to figure that out in the future, like this is the way it's going to be. And I think that, you know, that's, you know, because we don't have, you know, a few million dollars, that's the way we have to do it. We really have to mount a campaign to generate public inertia around what we're trying to do. 
So we're speaking now with Erin Biano. She's a former dancer with American Theatre Ballet, and she's also a photographer of the New York Times. So Erin, oh, why is this project important to you? Um, this project is important to me mainly because I grew up in the Upper West Side, and with my background in the arts, um, the Metro Theatre has been dormant and empty for so long. I mean, the last thing I saw there was the was Titanic when it was playing. <laughs> so um, I thought it was really important to have an art space north of 96th Street. It's sort of a cultural dead zone. So I feel like we can really bring so much dance and music and art and theater to to the area. Culture makes makes everything better educationally. It. Uh, I hope to bring some, some educational programs there so children in the area can learn more about dance and music and art. And I, yeah, I just think it's, it would bring so much to the neighborhood. Aside from also economic development, there's a lot of retail space that's empty. If you've noticed, it'll bring more restaurants and commerce. There's a new building right across the street. So I think it's just it's good for everyone in the neighborhood. And I know, I think there, um, there's a popular misconception that the Upper West Side is is sort of a Tony neighborhood and they don't really need any sort of community-based arts project but it's actually it's not true it's very diverse there's um, uh, housing developments uh, city housing um, on Amsterdam very close by and I just I think it'll just make the neighborhood better so so are you going to be dancing in the opening night? No, I don't dance anymore. A lot of my friends still dance, so I hope to recruit them. A lot of them are here tonight. So, yeah. Um, there's a conspicuous absence of such a place on the west side. And as you know, this is a very diverse community. Uh, there are a lot of professionals. Uh, we have Columbia University just a bit to the north. Uh, there is no place on the west side to go and really see art, participate in art, uh, see new things, and I think it's needed in the in the neighborhood. So, what type of performance is gonna be played at the uh, Metro Theater project? Okay, I think it's um it's going to be a few different things. I think you're going to have theater, um, you know, like as you like it, Shakespeare, you know, stuff that people can relate to. I think some modern stuff. I think you might have some martial arts and dance type stuff. I think you're gonna have folk music, rock music. I think you're gonna have dance and um, jazz. And I, I, I really want it the best we, you know, to our, you know, in best capacity we have to be a place where people can spontaneously do things. So if some famous person drops by one night and they just happen, like that kind of place, you know, they're, they're a place, that's New York, the whole history of New York has had places like that, you know, CBGBs or like, you know, or, you know, the Lincoln Center or whatever it is, the Beacon Theater, um, Symphony Space, um, where people could just sort of like come and, you know, nobody will know about it, but the people there will, will like figure it out and that will sort of get people in the neighborhood involved. I just want to like, you know, make sure that kids and adults from the you know from like a young age to an old age can like enjoy something that's right in the neighborhood because we don't have it right now